A few little mysteries with the deck of cards, I think, to start with. Um, this first one, would you like to give me a hand and shuffle those up for me, please? And you may feel free to take a look through them and make sure they're not, uh, not a trick deck or anything like that. But, uh, I'll put that in the filing cabinet. Okay. Very professional, yes. Yes, I think so. Very good. Very good, and now you're out of here. <laughs> Every magician does a trick with the aces, and I'm no exception. I'd like to show you a little mystery using the, uh, the four aces. Let me see if I can't find them. You didn't palm any of them out, did you? That's why you was doing that. <laughs> ah, there they are. Now, I'll set these up in a little row. I'm going to stand up so you can all see this better. Um, to make these aces disappear, it would be very nice if I just wave my hands and make them go, but I can't do that. I have to use a little camouflage. And the camouflage is in the form of just a few cards, which I shall place on top of each one of the aces. Now, as I perform this, I'd like to have you notice that I make no fast or suspicious movements. The speed of the hand is not used to deceive the eye. And yet, one at a time, I do intend to make these aces disappear. The first one being the ace in this packet, which happens to be the ace of clubs. All I have to do is give it a little shake like this. When I do that, it leaves the packet, leaves me with one two, three cards, and absolutely no ace of clubs. Now, I'll do that for you again with the ace in this packet. If you have a, a memory, that's the ace of hearts, a little shake. And that disappears, leaves me with one, two, three, and four cards, but no ace. Now I'll show you those again, front and back. Look, one, two, three, and four cards. The ace has disappeared. Now, if you have a good memory, you'll remember that along with the ace of spades are these three cards. That's a jack of diamonds, a seven of spades, and a jack of clubs. So in reverse order, that would be the jack of clubs, the seven of spades, and the jack of diamonds. This then must be the ace, but you can see, of course, it isn't. Now, one more chance. I'll, again, nothing fast, nothing suspicious. There's the ace. Just a little shake, and it's gone. One, two, three, four cards. I'll show you those cards. The ace is absolutely gone front and back. Now those aces had to go somewhere. They didn't obviously didn't just disappear into the air and perhaps when you weren't looking I managed to sneak them into the rest of the deck and perhaps I can find them by simply spelling. In other words if I want the ace of spades I spell A-C-E-O-F-S-P-A-D-E-S -E -E and I find the ace of spades. <laughs> Next on the agenda is the other black card that's the ace of clubs and that spells with ten letters. I know that because I counted before I came out. <laughs> so I'll remove ten cards from the top of the deck, and this then should be the Ace of Clubs. That's A-C-E-O-F-C-L-U-B-S, and that's the Ace of Clubs. Yeah. Now the, <laughs> the Ace of Diamonds spells with a lot more letters, but it makes no difference. Look, A-C-E-O-F-D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S, and that's the Ace of Diamonds. Now, when I do this, people say, Martin, that's all very well, but what happens if you can't spell? <laughs> Doesn't make any difference. You can count. Well, we'll take the top card. It happens to be a nine and look nine cards away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You see, it doesn't matter if you spell or count. If you do it right, you'll always find the aces. Oh. <laughs>